Hi everyone and welcome to today's Busy Bodies workout. Today we're going to look at my mobility routine. Okay, this can be done on its own or it could be a really good way to warm up before a strength training session or a run or you could also use it as a cool down at the end of your workout. Okay, so we're going to look at four exercises. We're going to do them once but feel free to repeat these more than once to really get some good mobility work in. So the first thing I'm going to do is warm up a little bit the body. So we start by bouncing on the spot. Remember, if you're warm, the blood is flowing, your heart rate is slightly elevated, it's going to be easier for you to get more range of motion in a lot of these mobility exercises. And that's kind of the purpose of mobility, is to gain range of motion. So remember, going into anything, strength, mobility, cardio, warm, is always advisable. Okay, so just shake off the arms a little bit, keep it at a nice low intensity, shoulders nice and relaxed, just shifting weight from one foot to the other. You can move a little bit the hips if you want, get a bit more movement there, continue bouncing. Give me 10 seconds. Like I said, just a very quick way of warming up the whole body. Okay, three, two, one, and rest. So the first thing I like to do is start with some big, big dynamic movements. So what I'm gonna do with my feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna come up onto my tiptoes and I'm gonna breathe in, reaching up to the ceiling as high as I can. As I exhale, I'm gonna bring my feet back down, I'm gonna tuck my chin in, and I'm gonna roll one vertebra at a time, my fingertips towards the floor. Okay, only go as far as you comfortably can, relaxing your shoulders, your head nice and heavy. And then we're gonna roll back up to standing, and we're gonna repeat that three more times. Up onto your tiptoes, hold it as you breathe in, and then exhale, rolling, very relaxed all the way down to the toes. Okay, so this is really important for the spine, getting that mobility in the spine, the posterior chain. Let's do two more. Up and relax. Head nice and heavy, release all that tension. Okay, and we're gonna do one more, rolling up. Reach and release, roll down. And relax, perfect. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, especially if you're spending a lot of time seated, the hips can quite, get quite stiff, lose some mobility, and need a little bit of warming up. So I want you to bring your feet together. Imagine you're standing in a bucket, and you're gonna lift your knee and step your foot outside of that bucket, and then you're gonna bring it back in. Okay, we're now gonna switch sides, step out of the bucket, and back in. Try to keep your upper body stable while you do this. If you feel good, you can step even higher, back to the other side, and back in. Okay, keep switching. I'm gonna do two more on each side. Okay, so just check how you're feeling here. And last one on each side. Perfect, okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna practice the hinge and we're gonna kind of, these mobility exercises, you're working on the range of motion, it's also gonna activate the muscles, which is why it can be quite helpful as a warm-up. So with my feet together, I'm gonna to take a very small step behind me with my right foot, with my heel lifted. Both my knees are soft, bracing my core, hands on my chest, I'm gonna push my butt, my hips, as far behind me as I can. And you should feel a bit of a stretch in the hamstring on your front leg. It's gonna work the glutes, the lower back, and then come up, okay? Let's do that six times. Knees soft, push the hips behind you. Two. Keep the core working. You wanna maintain a nice neutral spine. Three. Four. Five. Six, okay, switch feet. Okay, lift your, your left heel. Knees soft, and again, six repetitions. Pushing the hips behind you and coming up, okay? Only go as far as you can, maintaining a strong core, maintaining a flat back. Push as far behind you as you can. Three, make sure you feel a bit of a stretch in the hamstring on your front leg. Four, two more. Five, six. Okay, so that's more or less addressing the posterior chain. Starting with that rolling for the back, for the spine, and then getting into the glutes and hamstrings with those single leg hinges. Okay, now we're gonna look at the hip flexors, which is another area that can get quite tight. So you're gonna come down to a kneeling position. So both knees on the floor. Okay, use a pillow or a mat if it's more comfortable. And then you're gonna put your left foot 
in front of you. Okay, I might actually tilt the camera down a tiny bit. Okay, so on both knees, left foot in front of you. And what I'm gonna do in this position, I'm gonna tuck my tailbone. So I'll show you from the side. Instead of being in this position, I'm gonna tuck the tailbone, tilt the pelvis and engage the glute on the right side. I'm kind of squeezing with my glute on this side and you should feel a bit of a stretch in the hip flexor, okay? So here down the front of your hip. Take your, if your right knee is on the floor, take your right arm up and over to the left side, okay? Lengthen this side of the body. Keep pushing forward with the glutes here. We'll hold this. Three, two, one. You can hold this for longer. I just wanna show you these exercises. Once you've done that, you're gonna bring your right hand down to the floor, okay? Parallel to your foot. And then with your left elbow, you're gonna come down towards your foot and then turn your hand and look up to the ceiling. We'll do that five times. Bring the elbow down and hand to the ceiling. Okay, so this is a really nice way of stretching multiple muscle groups, opening the chest, opening the back. Four, five. Okay, once you've done that, switch knees. Okay, now we're gonna do this side. So tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glute on the left side, feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Take your left arm up and over. Hold this for as long as you want. It's a good stretch, okay? So if you really feel quite tight here, feeling the stretch, maybe hold it for a bit longer. And then you're gonna bring your left hand down to the floor, parallel with your foot. Right elbow comes down towards your right foot and then right hand up to the ceiling five times. Okay, so right foot on the floor, left hand on the floor. Two, three, four, five. Really good. Okay, let's come to a seated position now. We've got two movements left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together and my knees are open. Okay, I'm, my heels are quite close to my butt. Okay, so they're not out here. Bring them in quite close. Got my hands on my feet, sitting up nice and tall. What I want you to do, put your left hand over your right foot. So you're kind of holding onto your right foot with your left hand. Then you're gonna extend your right leg out in front of you. Okay, if you can't keep your hand on your foot, keep your hand on your shin or your knee. Then with your right hand, you're gonna reach underneath and hold on to the left knee. And you're gonna find quite a good stretch here in the hamstring, but also through the back. Okay, so again, getting multiple muscle groups here, all of the upper back, and the hamstring. Again, hold this for as long as feels comfortable. Okay, and then you're gonna release it. Bring the feet back together. Okay, and now we're gonna put the right hand, hold onto the left foot, extend the left leg. You're gonna see I'm quite tight in my hamstrings here, so it's a bit of a struggle. And then my left hand underneath onto my right knee. Okay, I'm trying to explain this slowly because I end up looking like a pretzel, so it's quite hard to follow visually. So hopefully you can understand this, maybe pause and go back. If not, hold that for as long as you need and release. That's a really good stretch to try and develop. The last thing I'm gonna do, okay, I'm just gonna have that knee to chest mobility. Okay, this is quite useful when you're doing squats, high knees, lunges, is that ability to bring the knee close to your chest. So just with my legs extended, lying on my back, I'm gonna hug my right knee to my chest, hold it for a few seconds, and then switch, left one. Let's do 10 repetitions, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Amazing, okay, stand up and bouncing on the spot. Okay, check how you feel. Okay, so just nice and relaxed, bouncing there. How do you feel compared to the beginning? I'm, I train quite frequently, I have an active job. So I tend to just do that once, quite quickly as a warm up before I do any weightlifting or running with my clients and what I would recommend to a lot of people, if you spend a lot of time seated at a desk, you could maybe spend a bit longer doing that or maybe do it the whole thing more than once. Okay, and you don't have to just do it before or after a workout. On a day you're not planning on training, you could just get up from your desk and just do 10 minutes of mobility and I promise it's gonna make you feel better and kind of maintain that range of motion for when you do get back to doing all these exercises. 
Okay, so give that a go. Let me know what you think. And I will see you soon for another workout.